Hi, my name is Jason and welcome to Sweet Basil. Come on in. We're here, making it safer to save today. As we all adjust to the new normal, shopping for furniture is a little different. That's why our team wears masks and goes the extra mile while delivering in your home. It's why our website is so informative, enabling you to buy online or by phone. That's why we limit shoppers and offer special hours for our at-risk neighbors, first responders, and healthcare professionals. Your waiting is over. Let us help you save safely today. He's on the 20, he's on the 10, it's a touchdown! There's nothing like football. The lights, the cheers of the crowd, and getting a chance to see our local athletes and kids give it all they've got. Come to a game. Support our local schools. Clarion County Community Bank. A better way to bank. Member FDIC. Visit us online at clarionbank.com.
Tori. He made two big mistakes. His first mistake was not going to Laurel Eye Clinic to have bladeless LASIK. His second mistake was trying to pet what he thought was his cat without wearing his glasses. Don't be like Corey. Call Laurel Eye Clinic. With so much to protect each day, Eric Schick Insurance and Financial Services is here to help you find the right coverage that fits your life. Call 814-275-2210 to learn more. Oaks Building Supply is dedicated to providing quality building products to the community. You will always find what you need for your home improvement project and get great advice on how to do the job at Oaks Building Supply. Customer satisfaction is a top priority. Oaks Building Supply, for all your building and lumber supply needs. Located on Route 66 in Lucinda. We're live here at North Clarion High School. Good evening, everybody. Mike Kalinowski, Governor Bob Dunkel, Tyler Oaks, and Chase Diamond all here tonight getting set for a good one. Girls action as uh, Clarion Limestone, the Lady Lions, come on to take the She-Wolves of North Clarion. Coach Gutsch, uh, we're in the Carly Tire pregame show, and uh, Coach uh, Gus Simpson's Lions come in with a record of 8-2, and 4-1 and one in the Keystone Shortway Conference South. For North Clarion, they're at 8-1 and 4-1 and and in the Northern Division. This is the North versus South. And these are two very good girls teams getting set to go at it here tonight, Bob. Well, they certainly are. Of course, uh, you know, we had the opportunity to see North Clarion last week. We actually got to see a team which we really expected to see, a team which was strong in fundamentals, did come up short that night. Um, they've got shooters out there. They're willing to play defense, did come up short that night, but have rebounded quite well since that loss. Now, Clarion Limestone is a team which this is our first opportunity to see them. Mike, we do know this. They are a hard working group and they like to fly under the radar. I think they've caught a lot of people off guard by their quick start at the beginning of this season. But the reality is, look, they're earning these wins and they're getting everybody in the team involved. That's what makes this group so exciting. And when I said Gus Simpson, everyone went, nah. -uh. What is he's coaching now? <laughs> he's been at everything else. Gus Simpson is everywhere and he is really in the house tonight. Of course, Gus doing a great job. Long time coach at Clarion Limestone. All right, we're going to take a break here. We're going to come back, continue here in the Carly Tire pregame show. We'll look at players to watch, governor's keys to the game. We have the starting lineups, and that heater lumber tip-off is all coming up. And tonight it is Clarion Limestone here at North Clarion. It's girls' action. Laurel Eye Clinic, District 9 Basketball is live on Explore Clarion at D9Sports.com. Hey, Julie, nice deck. Did you get that at Tio Nesta Builder Supply? It's Tio Nesta Builder Supply, and yes, Dave, I did. Wonder if they sell siding and roofing at Tio Nesta Builder Supply. It's Tio Nesta, and yes, Tio Nesta Builder Supply has that too. Come on, Dave, you've never been there? They have two showrooms for anything home improvement. Mom got a custom kitchen there. Bill down the street got the materials for his garage. They have this awesome website, www.tianestabuilders.us. You can buy online. They really have everything for the home. Wow, I'm heading over to Tio Nesta. <laughs> I know, I know. Tianesta Builders. Tianesta Builders Supply Home Improvement Center. Family owned and operated since 1958 with locations in Tianesta and Shippenville. That sounds good. I'll check them out online at tianestabuilders.us.
right, back here in North Clarion High School, Mike Kalinowski, Governor Bob Dunkel. It is the Clarion Limestone Lady Lions and the She-Wolves of North Clarion tonight here from the North Country. We're in the Carly Tire pregame show. Part of uh, Laurel Eye Clinic, District 9 basketball here on Explore Clarion Bob. When you look at these two teams, had a chance to see this uh, a team from North Clarion last week against Union in a hard-fought game that Union was able to come out with. That was uh, North Clarion's first loss of the season. Uh, but uh, they are, um, I'll tell you what, a team to be reckoned with, uh, with McFarland, the both of the McFarlands, Madison and Emma, uh, Cribble, Siegel, Green, uh, very quick. This team could move the ball. They use the bench well. Uh, you know, so they're they're loaded and ready to go. Yeah, Mike, you know, again, they, they build on fundamentals. This is a team that year in, year out wants to be competitive. They don't use graduation as an excuse because it affects all programs. The reality is if you establish a program, good things are going to happen, and I think that's what, you know, we've certainly had the opportunity to see under Coach Dryhop. Now, we look on the other side uh, under Coach Simpson. Uh, you know, he's got a, a group, Mike, that has been around together for a while. Last year, uh, you know, had some challenges certainly during the course of the regular season, but they have responded quite well. Alex Ledbetter, Lexi Cole, Francis Miller, Kendall Dunn, and Alyssa Wyatt. That group, Mike, has this year so far statistically been very balanced in all the ball games which they play. They do play good, solid defense. They manufacture turnovers, and I think that keeps them certainly in an awful lot of games. And, uh, you know, they make up to be a very formidable opponent for just about anybody in this conference. Well, there you go. There's your players to watch. Brought to you by Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. want to thank them for that. And uh, we will take another quick timeout. We're going to come back. The governor's keys to the game are on the way. Starting lineups, too. We're getting closer to tip-off here from North Clarion High School. And uh, you are listening to the Carly Tire pregame show. It's all part of Laurel Eye Clinic District 9 Basketball. It's live on Explore Clary at D9Sports.com. J&J Trailers and Equipment Sales on Route 66 in Shippenville is your one-stop trailer shop for all things trailers. J&J stocks over 70 trailers at a time of all shapes and sizes, including enclosed cargoes, equipment haulers, utility trailers, tilt trailers, and dump trailers. Reputable brands include CarMate, Sport Haven, PJ, Liberty, and Wells Cargo. If you are looking for the most dependable trailers on the market, backed by the industry's best warranty, choose J&J Trailers and Equipment Sales. Trailers that work for a living. Dubrook, a proud member of the M&B Group, is the right choice for your next concrete project. Specializing in decorative concrete products, precast concrete products, gravel and stone delivery, Dubrook has what you need to complete your residential or commercial project. With locations in Clarion, Dubois, St. Mary's, Butler, and Evans City, Dubrook is ready to offer their professional help as your ready-mix supplier. Call 1-844-DUBROOK today. Clarion Forest VNA believes the emotional and physical well-being of a patient is enhanced by the patient receiving care in the familiar surroundings of home. Their staff of caring professionals work closely with physicians to administer quality care to meet the needs of each individual. As a pioneer in home health care in Clarion and Forest County, Clarion Forest VNA continue to grow to meet the community's need for in-home care, offering many different services and programs to meet the patient's need. Clarion Forest VNA, located at 271 Perkins Road in Clarion. Call us toll free at 1 800 262 2118. All right, back here at North Clarion High School. It is the Carly Tire pregame show, part of Laurel Eye Clinic District 9 basketball, right here on the EYT Media Network. That's Explore Clarion, D9Sports.com. Time for uh, starting lineups here. Danny Montgomery, Scott lineups for Clarion Limestone, the Lady Lions. It'll be Ledbetter, Cool, Milliron, Kendall Dunn, and Wyant for the North Clarion She-Wolves. It'll be Madison McFarland, Green, Emma McFarland, Cribble, and uh, Siegel. 
Those are your starters. And again, brought to you by Jenny Montgomery Scott. Governor, we turn to the Gatesman's Auto Body, Governor's Keys to the game. And what do each of these teams need to do to come out here with a victory here tonight? Well, Mike, we always start out with the visitors. We'll do that once again tonight. I think it's important to challenge this North Clarion squad early. You know, find out what they're made of both offensively and defensively. I think you also want to try and get this North Clarion squad into a little bit of foul trouble. You know, they tend to be uh, on the physical side on defense. And then I also think you want to slow the pace of this ball game down. You don't want to get up and down the court being a 60-point plus ball game. You really want to keep it in the 40 range if, if you want to come away with the win in this one. And I think you also got to manufacture some turnovers and get points off of those turnovers. You know, it's one thing to turn the ball over, but you still got to get up the court, try and get a few points out of it. If you can do that, some good things are really going to happen to your squad. Now, for North Clarion, I'm a big fan. Go ahead and play up-tempo. Look, uh, you know, you can play up-tempo, but you still can be selective on your shots. And I think that's part of the key. You have to work hand-in-hand hand with that. You know, you can run up and down the court, but you've got to get the shots to fall. I think you can get those shots to fall. A lot of good things are going to happen. I think also the perimeter shooting has to be on the money tonight. I think this Clarion Limestone team tends to be a little scrappy defensively, so it's harder to drive into the paint. And certainly those perimeter shots have to fall for you. And this is clearly, this statement here is true in just about every game. I think you want to score early, often, and you can't let Clary Limestone hang around. If you do, bad things will happen because this is a very confident Lions team. And, you know, not perhaps some of the teams down the road that had struggled uh, in bigger games just didn't have the confidence level. This group does have confidence, and they take care of business. Yeah, and you would expect that, too. You know, you have uh, two very seasoned coaches and Terry Dryhop and Gus Simpson. Um, Gus, of course, uh, working hard to get this Lady Lions program back into prominence here this year and certainly firing on all cylinders. But, Terry, what a what a long legacy here at uh, North Clarion High School. A fantastic run here, and they continue to produce just a very, very good basketball. And, uh, you know, you look at the tradition on both sides, and it's, it's very deep. CL hasn't been as successful over the last few years. Terry has, but now you're seeing that kind of come to fruition here. And, uh, you know, either, uh, with uh, – Clary and Limestone and North Clarion, they could still meet in that KSAC somehow in uh, one of those, like, the KSAC championships. So, you know, these games are all still very, very important. Right, Mike. You talked on it there briefly. You know, the format's a little different. You know, last year yep. it was just one versus two, and this year expanded, if you will. So, you know, just because maybe you're not in that one or two doesn't mean that you're not going to no. be playing. And, and again, anything can happen. That's why they invite three and four in this. But, Mike, I think if you talk to both coaches, one common thing as well is they're both going to say, hey, it's not about us as coaches. It's the players, and, and that's why we've had the success which we have this season. All right, uh, we're going to be going momentarily here to uh, the PA announcer and our singer tonight for the National Anthem, the great Bonnie Wolbert here at North Clarion High School. That'll be coming up here momentarily. And you see already the crowd. Bonnie doesn't have to say a word. They stand at attention at North Clarion. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to North Clarion High School. Thank you for rising. Please join Miss Gabby Schmader as she sings to you the national anthem. Continue with the team introductions by Bonnie Wolbert. Great job on the national Ladies anthem here tonight. We are welcoming the Clarion Limestone Lady Lions. Starters for our visitors, they 
starting a sophomore number one, Alex Ledbetter. Another sophomore number two, Lexi Cole. Another sophomore number 30, Alyssa Wyant. Junior number 25, Kendall Dunn. There you go, starting lineups here at North Clarion High School. Ledbetter, Cole Milliron, uh, Kendall Dunn, and Wyant for Clarion Limestone, Madison McFarland Green, Emma McFarland Cribble, and uh, Sigal for North Clarion. So we're just momentarily away from tip off here. The team's getting their final instructions from their leaders here as they come to the sidelines. Bob, I'll tell you, anticipating this one, this is one we looked at last week and said this will be a good one. We're happy to be up here. and I know next week we plan to be back up here again. Another big one coming up with uh, Red Bank Valley in uh, girls. That'll be uh, next week as well. Yes, yeah, so, you know, a lot of times we have uh, a lot of debates during the course of the weekend or week as to what games we're going to be doing. This one, Mike, there was very little doubt on this. Uh, I think everybody seems there. Yep, that's where we're going to be. Chris Andrew Crude is ready. And the good news is Mike Kilroy agree because, you know. Well, if he doesn't agree, then it's it's heck to pick. Yeah, yeah, we're all in trouble then. Yeah, I'll tell you that. Getting set to go here. And at the center circle, it is a heater lumber tip-off. Also want to thank the First United National Bank, the Fun Bank, great sponsor of North Clarion Sports here on the EYT Media Network. North Clarion controls the tip. Gribble. Passes the ball off. McFarland driving into the lane, tries to dump it off, but it's going to be stolen away by the Lady Lions. Coming out with the basketball is Ledbetter. Here's Ledbetter pushing it across the timeline. First look at Clarion Limestone this season. They've been good. Eight and two, four and one. They're looking very crisp here in the early going, Mike. Working to slow it down just a little bit. Bell Iron dumps it down into the paint. We're going to get a call away from the ball, and it's going to be a foul here called on Clarion Limestone. They're going to call Cool with the offensive charge here. The pick is what it was. An illegal one. Very experienced veteran crew. It's going to be hard to get away with much of anything tonight. Kells Kitchens is our first quarter sponsor. Quickly down the court. And that shot is good by Sigel. 2-0 North Clarion now. Clarion Limestone breaks out of that press. I loved it. That ball never touched the court. And the long shot. It's off the back of the rim. Ball tipped around. Controlled by North Clarion. I love that press break. Now that's one of the pet peeves you have with teams not listening to you. McFarland shot. Three-pointer at the top of the line. That's Emma McFarland, and it's 5-0. Yeah, that shot taken from Leeper. Now the Lady Lions break it across the timeline. Right down the court to Dunn. Dunn saves it into Y. That's a Millire. Millire shots off the mark. The ball goes out of bounds. It will stay Clarion Limestone basketball. Coach Dryhub trying to get the official to change their mind. You can try. There's nothing wrong with the effort. Well, Karen Davis, longtime coach, now official. She knows all the tricks. <laughs> and she was certainly in position to make the easy call. Cool shots off the back of the rim. No good rebound pulled down by Dunn. Back up top to Milliron, down into the paint, turnaround shot by Wyant. It's off the mark, the rebound by Cribble. And again, Siegel making that a bit of a challenge because she's in great position. Shot from the right side, McFarland rattles the cage, doesn't go. Cribble with the rebound. And 
That is Emma McFarland, backs off near the center circle. Just to slow it down just a little bit. Really what you're doing is you're hoping to catch a defender here asleep. Get an easy bucket. Right underneath to Segal. Basket good. Good little dump down into her at 7 nothing. Good a timeout taken by Coach Gus Simpson. 5.54 to go here in this first quarter. Kills Kitchen's first quarter. We'll keep it here on this one for Tyler. It's a quick 30 seconds. Mike gets a great timeout. You're down 7 and nothing. It's just been a matter of a little bit of breakdown on the defensive end for you. A couple of those buckets. Nothing to get real excited about, but you don't want the game to slip away. People always remember what goes on in quarters number three and four and they tend to forget, you know, this first opening uh, two minutes or so, what happened. Well, you've got an opportunity here. Put the brakes on. Really, you're not going to make major adjustments. You're going to just tell everybody to take a deep breath. You will just think slightly, hey, you know your responsibility in this situation. You go over everything. You break the huddle. You could go on right now your own seven. Oh, run. <clears throat> but you can't afford to let the game slip away on you. North Clarion's going to slap on the full court uh, pressure here as Clarion Limestone to inbound. Ball comes into Cool to Dunn. They work the ball, and a foul here is going to be rung up. And they are going to get uh, Madison McFarland. It's the first team foul. Dunn to take the ball to bounce here for the Lady Lions. The student section getting involved here. At North Clarion. Ball ahead to Milliron. Dumps it off to the left side, and the layup good. That is Ledbetter getting the layup. Nice hustle by Ledbetter. Good assist that time by Milliron. The ball is going to be tipped out of bounds. It will stay North Clarion basketball. So after that timeout, the Lions get their first basket. And it's exactly what you needed to see happen. Mike checking into the ball game will be Grace Schick. Quickly down the court to McFarland. Into the paint, kicks it out to Green. Green around the defense, puts up the shot, it goes. What a beautiful move. I don't know Not how great. she was able to get that <laughs> shot to fall. She kind of defied gravity there momentarily. Well, Irons pass is stolen away in the paint by Green. Here comes North Clarion across the timeline. Ball to the right side. Comes it down into the paint, that's Siegel. And the ball tipped out of bounds. It stays North Clarion basketball. I really like the hustle here out of these Lady Lions on the defensive end. Trail here, nine to two. Wide back in for Schick here. Ball up top to Green to the right corner. McFarland takes the shot from the corner, no good. And the ball is going to be saved back in bounds, but it's picked up by North Clarion. Out to McFarland again, three-pointer on the way. That one rattles the cage. It doesn't fall, and the rebound is by Miller. Miller gets the break started here for the Lady Lions. 9-2. Grim's a little tight tonight, not very forgiving. Ball down into Dunn. Dunn makes the move. Dunn takes it up strong. Partially blocked. Ball's loose. And McFarland with the rebound. Pushing the ball down the court to Green. Green into the lane, and the offensive charge is going to be called on Green. Yeah, it's a tough one, but it is the correct call. Green knows it. She will go the other way. Yeah, it's the case, too. Your momentum is carrying in. She was able to defy gravity a little earlier and get the shot to fall. That time, not so much. It's her first. Led better, led better to Dunn. Here's Dunn down the left side. Dunn puts up the runner in and rolls around and goes. Good shot by Dunn. It's 9 4. Sorry, Limestone putting on some pressure of their own. Sheebles pushing through it. Ball kicked ahead. They get tied up. Ball to Cool. Her shot good on the break the other way. 9 6. Bob, you said it. 6 0 run by the Lady Lions. Stolen by Milliron. Shot good and it's 9 8. Oh my. I was close, saying that 7 <laughs> nothing run. Ball to McFarland in the paint. The shot on the other end is no good, and it goes off of Siegel and out of bounds, and the Lady Lions get it back. They could take the lead here. Big, big turn of events. Fast baseball game. Ball to Milliron. Milliron finds opposite to uh, Cool. Here's Cool. Stop, pops the shot. It's off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound by Siegel. This is my second game in seeing Siegel, and I just, I'm so impressed by her because she gets great positioning. That's the key to rebounding. 
It was 9-2 at one point in this one. It is now 9-8. Lady Lions and the She-Wolves doing battle. Ball up top, that's McFarland, that's Emma. Dumps it over left side to Madison McFarland. The shot's off the mark. And we're going to have a foul called. They're going to say it's on the rebound. Someone coming over. It is going to be on Siegel coming over the back. North Clarion picks up their third team foul already. A tough spot to pick that up here. Milliron around the defense. Milliron down the right side. Dumps that over. Finds Dunn. In puts up the shot on the paint. Shot no good. Fight for the basketball. And we're going to, what do we have? Going to get a held ball. It's a land pro possession arrow. And it points into the direction of the Lady Lions. I'll tell you what. When Dunn sees an opportunity to get her hands on the ball, she's going to wrap up instantly. Did a great job right there. Yeah, you see the replay there. Tyler pulling it down. Here's Milliron on the inbound. Basket's good. Milliron to the line for the old time three point play. And the Lady Lions take the lead here 10 9. And Milliron, four points in the ball game. She and Gwen Siegel both sitting at four, but <clears throat> Milliron wants to make it five with this shot. Bends the knees, releases, shot hits the front of the iron, no good. Rebound, though, is by Cribble. Kales Kitchen's first quarter here on the EYT Media Network. 10-9, the Lady Lions lead North Clarion here in quarter number one. Emma McFarland works it to the right side to Siegel. Almost taken away that time by Wyant. Ball loose up top. Save from going over that timeline. Good job by McFarland. Now Green controls, hands it off to Cribble. Lady Lions in a man-to-man -man defense here. Around the defense, shot taken by Cribble is no good. It's going to go out of bounds, and it stays North Clarion ball. Looked like that might have won off a Y at that time. H checks in for North Clarion here with 2.25 to go. A nice job of keeping some fresh legs out on the court by Coach Dryout. Wilkins in deep to Cribble. She controls. Down to the corner. Bounce pass into Eights. Eights puts up the shot. Left hander, good. Nice job to clear the lane by Eights and get the shot at 11-10. The quality bench points out of Eights. Dillard dumps it in. Eights with the steal. Gives it to Green. That ball's loose. Here's Green around the defense. Green's going to dump that ball down the court, and the foul is going to be called. The charge is called on Green, and that'll be number two on her. Yeah, it's a tough one on Green. That's a hustle play. It's not so much a, a flagrant play. Regardless, it is a foul called against her, and that's number two here. She'll have to come out. Bauer's going to check in for Green. 11-10, the She-Wolves leading. Minute 58 to go here in quarter number one. Glad you could be with us here on the EYT Media Network tonight. Well, better on the left side. Works out to Millar. Millar to left elbow. Nice drive in the lane. Shot rolls around, doesn't go. And the rebound is by Bauer. Emma McFarland works it down court. Takes a three-point shot. It's off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound by Siegel. And foul's going to be called in the lane. They're going to take the ball out of bounds. There's no shot here. So they're going to call that on Wyant. A yeah, tough one on Wyant. You saw multiple players looking at each other, wondering who was really going to get rung up for the foul. Lutz checks in. And Lutz is another one of those players that get a valuable uh, bench points and, and quality playing time from. And you get that height advantage, too. Chick checks in for the Lady Lions. Shot from the corner by McFarland. That one's good from the corner. It's a three-pointer, and it's 14-10, North Clarion. That's from McFarland. That's six points in the ball game now. So North Clarion back on top here. Cool. To the right side, to Dunn. In the mill iron. Mill iron's going to be fouled, taking it strong to the hole that time for that bottom block on the right side. Just a nice job by Mill iron. You see her strength. And, you know, Mike, I look back and I remember last year a game in which they played Clarion area. She played the entire JV game, started the varsity game. You know, she definitely was an iron man, no question about that. Her shot is up and hits the front of the iron, no good. Has four points to lead all scores for Clarion Limestone here at the 108 mark. Makes your time here. 
Shots up and good. So 14-11, three-point advantage. She wolves working it across the timeline, and they just get her across. And then the ball's lost. Stolen away by Ledbetter. She'll have an easy layup on the other end, and it's 14-13. Great pickpocket move for Ledbetter. That's four points in the ballgame. Ball across the timeline. Cribble down into the paint to Lutz. Shot off the mark. No good. Rebound is pulled down by Ledbetter. One hand pass down the court to Milliron. Here's Milliron over the right side. Shot good by Milliron, and it's 15-14. Clearing in limestone. This is an important trip up the court, but you got to get it up the court first. Struggling a little bit with this pressure. They do get it across. Bauer controls and gives it to Cribble. 22 seconds. We'll see if North Clarion's going to play for the last shot here. I would assume so. The ball dumped into eights, tipped away, stolen by Milliron, and a foul's going to be called from behind. They're going to call the hold on eights. Yeah. It you know, unless that shot's wide open, you ideally want to sit on that, milk some time off. You have now 15 wow. seconds, and guess what? That also gets you in a one-on-one. -on -one. It's been a long time since we've seen a one-on-one -on, -one on the first quarter, and it's right there. This definitely is our, our first opportunity of the season. Now to see this, Milliron at the line. <clears throat> it's a 15 to 14 lead here for Clarion Limestone. Because it is the one and one, they will let the substitutes come in on that first shot. Shots up, deep. Rebound by Lutz. That's that height advantage in there, and I'll tell you what, good position too. Eight seconds. Ball loose. Bauer saved it into Lutz. Lutz spin around, shot on the baseline, no good. That ball tipped back to Lutz. Her shot, she's fouled. Shot doesn't go, but Lutz will go to the line with 1.2 seconds. And she'll get a couple of shots. Yeah, they're going to ring this one up on Milliron. That's a tough spot to pick it up with just limited time. Boots at the line. No good. Misses the front. Opportunity to tie here. By the way, you don't want to make a ton of contact, all the more time remaining in this quarter. That shot's good. Not to the 15. And that shot will not be good at the buzzer. 15-15, we are tied after one. We'll take a timeout. It is CL and North Clarion girls tied at 15. And you're watching uh, Laurel Eye Clinic District 9 Basketball Explorer, Clarion and D9Sports.com. Our community needs its local businesses. Let's put unity back into the community. Let's all unite to support local business. Butler Health System, proudly standing with our local businesses. Your choice matters. When the time comes, choose local. Let's all unite to support them and the other local businesses in your community. It's important because when local businesses thrive, communities thrive. Back here at North Clarion High School, Mike Kalinowski along with the Governor Bob Dunkel, Tyler Oates, Chase Steinman all here as we bring you uh, exciting basketball action tonight here from the North Country. Tied at 15 after one. Clarion Limestone, the Lions, the Lady Lions, and the She-Wolves. Well, we got to see an awful lot of action like we anticipated in, Mike. Saw some great plays, and now North Clarion's got to hustle to get it in. They did not break the huddle in time, but they get it in. Into Lutz, shots off the mark, the rebound pulled down and then ripped away. We're going to get a jump ball in the Land Pro possession arrow. Points into the direction of Lady Lions because North Clarion did get the ball to start the quarter. If you joined us late, number one, shame on you, but number two, 17 fouls already committed here yeah. by North Clarion. Clarion Limestone, um, Gus Simpson, of course, uh, head coach, I'm sure he's going to talk and think, keep going inside, make him foul you again. Around the defense, shot by Dunn is no good. Fight over for the ball, and it's Cribble coming down with it. This is where you got to take a little patience. Again, I, I do like typically an up-tempo style, but ooh, we're going to see another foul call. And it's an offensive foul, so no shooting. And Bauer is going to be called for the pick. 15-15, we're tied still, just underway here in quarter number two, second quarter. It's a next-step therapy second. 
Well, Mike, my, my number two key in the ball game for Crane Limestone was to try and get North Clarion in foul trouble. And so far, mission accomplished as there's 18 fouls called. Ball going to be inbounded. Cool gets it into Milliron. Milliron up top to Cool. Cool. Works it to the center circle. Bounce pass to Milliron. Right elbow. Bounce. Nice pass to the baseline to Dunn. Dunn is going to come up, and we're going to have a travel here called on Dunn. It was either going to be a three seconds or a travel. And the official right on top of it. Yeah, just had trouble getting the handle on the, the basketball. And again, credit Lutz for creating a little bit of traffic. It's all you got to do sometimes. Minute gone here in the quarter. Lutz down to the right side. Up top it comes. Cribble. Tried to find eights, but tosses it out of bounds, and we get the turnover. Still tied at 15. You know, sometimes when you see a play like that, players weren't on the same page. That time on the same play page, just didn't get quite the result yep. they wanted. That's all. Ledbetter controls left side. Up top to Dunn. Dunn tried to find Cool, but it's going to be tipped and taken away by Cribble. Good job. Here's Cribble getting the break started. Cribble down the right side. Cribble tried to pass it off and lost the ball to bounds, and it goes back to Clarion Limestone. Opportunity to make a little hay here again. Offense for both teams struggling a bit here in quarter number two. Got to get these shots to fall. Bounce pass into Milliron. Takes it up strong and amongst the trees. Great defense. Yep, it got it back. Puts it back up again. Misses it at Milliron. I think she hurts her ankle here, and we're going to have a whistle. She was right in there with the trees. Milliron doesn't want to go out. She's trying to walk it off, but she's going to have to come out here for a second. She will come out, and they will take, take a look at her here. Jenna Dunn will come in for her. Well, I'll tell you what, Milliron just battling in there, and I'll tell you what, you know, with the height of uh, North Clarion in there, very difficult, but uh, wasn't given up. Well, here we go, North Clarion and CL tied at 15. Here's Cribble now with the basketball. She's been spectacular tonight. Here's Cribble. Comes it down into the paint, but stolen away. Here's Dunn. Dunn across the timeline. Dunn puts up the shot, and the charge is going to be called on Dunn. So there you go, the charge called against Clarion Limestone, and we're still tied at 15, Governor. And we have a timeout on the court. And why don't we take a very quick one here as well. We're tied at 15, 542 to go here in the second. You're watching Explore Clarion's coverage of Laurel Lye Clinic District 9 Basketball and Explore Clarion, D9Sports.com. We're going to go right live as we come back from the timeout. North Clarion works it down the court. We're tied at 15. Over to Eights. Eights catches up to it. A bit lost it out of bounds. And the turnover gives it back to Clarion Limestone. If you're a coach of either side right now, you just want to tell everybody, just take it a little deep breath. Slow down. It's a tie ball game. Nothing to get excited about. No scoring here, two and a half minutes gone on the quarter. Dunn shots off the mark, and Bauer's going to come out with the basketball. Still tied at 15. Student section getting fired up again over there. They want to see some points scored here. Ball dumped into uh, Lutz, and the foul's going to be called from behind. And I think they might call the hold there on Wyatt. It's a hold. Yeah, they do. Wyatt at time telegraphing her displeasure a little wee bit with the call. Schick checks in for Wyant. Wyant's second foul here. Still tied at 15, almost three minutes gone on the quarter. Here's eights underneath, eights a shot. Banks are home, and those are the first points of this quarter by either team. 
And they come at the 5.05 mark here at quarter number two. And that's a big shot. Oftentimes the most difficult shot to make is really the first that you got to make. It goes in. Cool. Up top. Bounce pass to Dunn. Dunn fakes. Tries to drive. Does. Has the ball tipped out of bounds. We're going to get a block foul called on Aids. Aids got a little too much body on that one. Had the right idea up top. And up to the line goes uh, Dunn here to shoot two. Shots up and does not go. Either team has set the world on fire tonight from free throw land. The Lions are just one of five. Brooks Diamond checks in. Chase will be keeping an eye here, making sure his sister toes the line out there on the basketball court. Is he really afraid of her? That's what I'm hearing. Yes. Shot yes, he is. is. Up. That's good. Well, he's probably a smart man. <laughs> Having two sisters, I can generally attest to that. So we have a substitute here. There was a question if the whistle was blown soon enough, but the basket was made on the free throw, so the substitute should be able to come in. Now, this is a veteran crew. You're not going to fool anything. No. <laughs> but, uh, hey, you know what? You're a coach. you got to argue it. you got to say, no. If I was coaching, I'd be thrown out of every game. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I believe that. Push is going to be called here on the Lady Lions. Yeah, they're going to get cool with this one, I believe. They do. That's her second. That you know what? Team six, they're really catching up. You know what Lexi's middle name is? Is. I hear you. <laughs> I had to come up with one tonight. Well, your age, you know. 17 16, uh, North Clarion leading the Lady Lions here, the She Wolves, with 425 to go. And the next step therapy second. Ball dumped down into the paint to Dunn. Dunn fakes, drives around the defense, puts up the shot. It's no good. The ball ripped down by Siegel. Here's Siegel across the timeline to the corner, to the baseline, comes back up top. Long shot on the way. It doesn't go. And the rebound ripped down by Ledbetter. Boy, what a nice look there by Olivia Siegel. Here's Ledbetter on the baseline. Puts up the shot. It's no good. Fighting for it. Got it back. Here's Cool with the shot. No good. Rebound by uh, Cribble. Mike, wow. Can you believe we've only had, we've only had three points scored here yeah. in quarter number two? And it's been a lot of action, too, back and forth. A lot of contact, a lot of action, a lot of fouls called. 15 fouls here in the first half of play. Lutz over to Steinman, and Steinman's going to be fouled, and she'll go to the line to shoot a couple here. Well, and you know, Mel Iron realized from the second she stepped towards her what was going to happen. <laughs> she knew right away, and it was too late. Chase was happy with that, but he was upset she didn't hit the shot. He said she should have hit the shot. Well, he tells us that. He won't tell her that. <laughs> shot is short. It does not go. As Steinman looking for her first point in the ball game. Shots up and will not get it. And who's going to come up with it? And it is going to be a held ball, I believe. Is that a land pro possession arrow? It is. And it will say on the side of North Clarion. A couple of substitutes coming in. Madison McFarland uh, is in there. Mike, the two teams tonight combined for to be uh, really here three of ten from the free throw line. Siegel was the other one that came back in. Here's Bauer shot from the left side. It's off the mark. Lutz, nothing you could do there. Lutz with that height advantage, able to reach up, grab the ball, and put it in, and it's 19-16. Yeah, she's just money in the bank there. And, again, if you're out there playing defense, if you make contact, she's going to make you – an opportunity to make the old-fashioned three. Oh, what a nice pass from Don over to Schick to get the two points, and it's 19-18. Here's Lutz. Ahead to Siegel. Siegel, baseline, shot, good. Banks it home, and it's 21-18. Ledbetter brings it quickly the other way. 2.50 to go. Next step, therapy second. Into the lane. Runner put up. 
And it's no good by Ledbetter. Rebound by Siegel. Love the positioning on rebounding here for North Clarion. Bauer right side. Two-pointer on the way. Rattles the cage. Doesn't go. Lutz put back. That's no good. Lutz got it back again. And a push is going to be called on the rebound. Up, oh, they're going to call it an offensive foul on Lutz. Saying she goes over the back. That's a tough one. I'll tell you what. When you have the size, the height advantage, you'll see that call occur. It's a tough one. It's, you're just not much you can do about it. So it's an automatic two now for the Lions on the bonus with 10 fouls here against the North Clarion. Ray Schick will be at the line. Shot is short. <coughs> Lions Mike two of seven from the free throw line. Shots up and no good lane violation. Yeah, Schick came across that free throw line before the ball hit the rim, so it is a violation. Pressure put on by the Lady Lions. 21-18, it's just a three-point ball game, and the pass is going to be tossed out of bounds. The last touch, I believe, by Miller in that time. So it stays North Clarion basketball. Ball ahead to Lute. Lost it. Dunn's going to steal it away. Here's Dunn across the timeline. Dunn. Into the lane. Kicks it out to Milliron. Pumps the three-point shot. It's on the way. No good. Lutz with the rebound. Once again, Lutz in, in prime position to get the board. McFarland into the paint. And we're going to get a foul here. I think they're going to say it's on Schick. Nice. Schick was just kind of looking for some positioning there. But that will send um, Lutz to the line for the one-on-one. -on -one. Lutz in the ballgame with three points. Make it four. She gets that shot to fall. Coach Simpson looking to bring Wyatt back in. The shot doesn't go. Oh, what a rebound by Siegel, and she puts it right in, and it's 24-18. Ball to Milliron. Into Dunn. Dunn puts up the shot in the paint. She's going to be fouled. Got a little arm there. And up to the line goes Dunn. Kendall Dunn to shoot two. Or in Bob's world, dose. Yeah, Dunn has three points. Been solid throughout tonight. <laughs> Bob just shaking his head. Uh, put up with this for a lot of years ago. So <laughs> just kidding. Wouldn't want it any other way. Shot falls. For Dunn, that'll make it a 24-19 ball game. Takes your time here. Shots up. And no good. Rebound is by Steinman. <laughs> McFarland brings it across the timeline. That's uh, Madison McFarland. Minute 39. Ball into Lutz. Lutz over to Steinman. Steinman battling in the paint. Back up top to McFarland. Again, just slowing it down a little bit. It's not a stall. They're just trying to get the offense moving and hoping to catch defender asleep. Lutz misses a shot. Put back. That's no good. Steinman fights. Her shot is no good. And uh, I think this is going to go against Steinman with the push. And we're going to go to the other end as uh, Dunn will get a couple of free throws with a minute 17 to go. 24-19. Chase not happy with that call, but he keeps the camera moving. Nonetheless, I don't know. I thought he was going to tear the headset off and run out on the court. He's <laughs> a little worried there for a second. He's known to be quite aggressive. I've heard. Takes, Dunn takes the time, rattles the cage, and it'll fall. 24-20. Yeah, that's why you set me beside Chase because if oh, yeah, absolutely. he's get out of control, why? <clears throat> and the shot doesn't go. Steinman with the rebound. 24-20. North Clarion leads. Minute 10 to go here in this second. McFarland setting up the offense. Clarion Limestone still in that zone. The shot's off the mark. The rebound by Bauer. 
And her put back is no good. The Bauer is going to be fouled, and she'll go to the line to shoot a couple here for the She Wolves. Appears that they're going to get done on this one. That's her second. So multiple players with two on this line squad. And the shot does not go. Sam Simpson checks in here for the Lady Lions. Next shot's up, and that one's good. Just under a minute. Five-point lead here for North Clarion. Cool. Comes it into Wyant. Wyant to let better. Down into the paint to Wyant. Her shot high off the glass. It goes. Good shot, 25-22. That is a shot that this Lady Lions group really needed, Mike. McFarland quickly down to Steinman and over to Lutz, but Lutz is going to travel. That little interruption that time by Cole was just enough to get Lutz to make the yeah, travel. Yeah, nice job there by Cole. And again, significant height disadvantage on the part of Cole versus Lutz. But all you got to do is create traffic. We talk about that constantly. Great example. Ball in the wine. Had it tipped away from behind. We're going to get a held ball. And the jump ball, the land pro possession arrow says it goes into the direction of the Lady Lions. And you know my thought process here, Mike, unless something incredibly wide open opens up. Sit on it. If you make the shot, great. Milliron takes that shot in the paint. Doesn't go. Rebound by uh, Bauer. And here's, so now if you're we're clearing a chance to extend that three-point lead. McFarland like that. Two-pointer, toes on the line. It's 27-22. Quickly, six seconds, five seconds. Runner in the lane by Cole. That's no good. McFarland with the shot. It's going to roll, and the buzzer sounds, and that's how we'll end the quarter with a flourish of shots. But North Clarion leads it here by the score of 27-22. to We'll take our time out. We're going to come back. We'll have the first United National Bank halftime show on the way. It is North Clarion leading Clarion Limestone 27-22 here at the half. And you're watching um, Laurel Lye Clinic District 9 Basketball and Explore Clarion and D9Sports.com. Whether it's your ATV... Your camper. Plenty of room. Keep it coming. Your boat. Keep dumping water, me boy. Or whatever your big kid toy may be, make sure you protect it. Carrier Insurance Agency will help establish a policy to protect your ATV, camper, boat, motorcycle, or any auto insurance coverage you may need. Receive your free quote at Carrier Insurance Agency in front of Tractor Supply and Clarion or CarrierInsuranceCares.com. One of the biggest risks to your future could be running out of money during a longer than expected retirement. Many people have not yet taken the time to determine if they will have enough assets to last throughout retirement. Our Retirement Income Evaluator can help you develop a roadmap and actual recommendations. To learn more, stop by our office located at 162 South 2nd Avenue in Clarion. Give us a call at 222-3-9990 or visit JennyClarion.com. Jenny Montgomery Scott, LLC, member NYSE, FINRA, and SIPC. Locally owned and operated, Hager Paving of Strattonville provides a range of services. Hot mix asphalt, cold patch asphalt, tar and chipping, and seal coating. Hager Paving's reputation in business is based on customer service, referrals, and your satisfaction. Serving residential, commercial, industrial, and local municipalities throughout western Pennsylvania. Exceptional service, exceptional quality. That's Hager Paving of Strattonville. Call 814-764-5080. That's 814-764-5080 for Hager Paving. Red Bank Chevrolet, the area's number one Chevrolet dealer and Clarion County's truck headquarters. So if you're in the market for a new or used Chevrolet car, truck, or SUV, go to Red Bank Chevrolet, 500 Broad Street in New Bethlehem, or online redbankchevrolet.com. Skilled staff at Red Bank Chevrolet is ready to meet all of your automotive needs. If we don't see you today, we'll see you at Red Bank Chevrolet. Hey, Julie, nice deck. Did you get that at Tio Nesta Builder Supply? 
It's Ty and S to Builder Supply. And yes, Dave, I did. Wonder if they sell siding and roofing at T.O. Nesta Builder Supply. It's Ty and Esta. And yes, Ty and Esta Builder Supply has that too. Come on, Dave. You've never been there? They have two showrooms for anything home improvement. Mom got a custom kitchen there. Bill down the street got the materials for his garage. They have this awesome website, www.tianestabuilders.us. You can buy online. They really have everything for the home. Wow, I'm heading over to T.O. Nesta. <laughs> I know, I know. Tyanesta Builders. Tyanesta Builders Supply Home Improvement Center. Family owned and operated since 1958 with locations in Tyanesta and Shippenville. That sounds good. I'll check them out online at tyanestabuilders.us. Throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. Oaks Building Supply is dedicated to providing quality building products to the community. You will always find what you need for your home improvement project and get great advice on how to do the job at Oaks Building Supply. Customer satisfaction is a top priority. Oaks Building Supply, for all your building and lumber supply needs. Located on Route 66 in Lucinda. Here we are at halftime at North Clarion High School. Our halftime score, it's 27-22 as the She-Wolves lead the Lady Lions at Clarion Limestone. Mike Kalinowski, Governor Bob Dunkel, Chase Diamond, also Tyler Oaks all here with you tonight. And uh, we go to the First United National Bank halftime show. Do have a quick Zockerel Motor scoring update for you. It is Clarion 13, Monata 11 in girls action. That at the half. That is down at Clarion Area High School. And time now for the Governor and his Red Bank Chevrolet or Chevrolet statistics. Well, for Clarion Limestone, Mike Francis Milliron leads the way seven points out of Francis, five points out of Kendall Dunn, four points out of Alex Ledbetter, and two points each out of the following Grace Schick, Alyssa Wyant, and Lexi Cole as a team. Four of 12 from the free throw line. Mike, if you are shooting closer to where you want to be in that 60, 70 percentile range, you know, obviously a different ball game in this one, but that's not the case. They have not made a three-pointer yet in the ball game. As we look at North Clarion, Gwen Sigel leads the way. Sigel checking in. She's got eight points, six points out of Emma McFarland, four points out of Lauren Lutz, and two points each out of Madison McFarland and Amaya Green, and then one point out of Maria Bauer. As a team, three of eight from the free throw line. They have connected on two three-pointers, obviously certainly a factor here in a 27-22 to ball game. All right, and again, we are in the First United National Bank halftime show. We'll take a time out here. And we're going to come back. We'll pause about a minute or so. Governor's keys to the second half are on the way. And again, you're listening to the Fun Bank Halftime Show, part of Laurel Eye Clinic District 9 Basketball. It's live on Explore Clarion at D9Sports.com.
Beverage Air, a leading manufacturer of refrigeration equipment for over 75 years, is currently hiring for immediate openings in our Brookville facility. For more information or to apply, visit beverageair.com forward slash careers. No matter how cold it is outside, you can keep warm and toasty inside with a built-in-the-USA super-efficient furnace from Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Affordable, quiet, and reliable, you can count on your furnace from Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. All right, back here at North Clarion High School. Fun Bank Halftime Show, First United National Bank. Great you could be with us here tonight on the EYT Media Network. And uh, we're going to continue here. We're going to look at the governor's keys to the second half. And again, brought to you by Gatesman's Auto Body. It's a good ball game here, Bob. What are these teams? Any big changes from your original keys? You know, not so much changes from the original keys. The only thing that I, I will say is, Mike, is look, you know, you've got North Clare in a little bit of foul trouble, but you couldn't convert on those free throws. And I think that's where you have to try and make a little bit of hay. You know, if, you could, if you're able to convert in that, your normal shooting rate could be a tie ball game. You might even have the lead, but uh, unable to do so. I think you oftentimes will hear me say, drive the ball strong, take it into the paint, take a higher percentage shot. I think you can't do that tonight. It's just not a matchup that's boating your way. I think you have to try and connect on some of those perimeter shots. If anything, that will open up the paint a little bit. Now, for North Clarion, I don't think you have to change a ton. I mean, look, you know, you've obviously played pretty good defense. You've limited them to 22 points. Your number one thing, just avoid foul trouble. And I think you got to play smart in the second half. You can do all that. You should be in good shape. But you're going to have to play two full quarters. That's the first United National Bank halftime show. We go to live action. The travel is going to be called up top here on McFarland. Drugs that pivot foot. And we get the first turnover. Third quarter is sponsored by Penn State Dubois. I won't say it tonight. I was giving you the old eye. I was waiting. <laughs> Notice I said old eye because that's what it is. You are older than I am now. I'm older than dirt. Here's Mill Iron up top. Five-point lead for the She-Wolves. On the right side, that's done. Dumps it down into the paint to Wyant. Her shot off the side of the rim, no good. Battling with the Lutes, tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Lutes. Stays Clary Limestone basketball. And a switch led better will take it out of bounds. Ball in done. Fakes kicks it out to the corner. Led better shot. Two pointer on the way. It's good by Ledbetter. It's two. And it's 27 24. That's a great job there. The officials making sure everybody was aware. No doubt it was a two. It was a deep two, but still two nonetheless. Green up top. Shot taken by McFarland. How about that one? Emma McFarland in the tray up top, and it's 30-24. Yeah, that shot taken from Lucinda. There was no doubt about it. Done on the other end. Up top to Cool. Bounce pass to Ledbetter. Ledbetter dumps it down into Dunn. Dunn spins around, driving on the baseline. Tried to kick it back out, but that is Madison McFarland to knock it out of bounds. A nice little tip there. Again, nothing special on the defensive end, just doing the fundamentals well. Ball comes into Bill Iron. To Dunn. Out of the right side. Long shot taken by Ledbetter. It's off the mark. Rebound by Lutz. And her pass down the court. We're going to have a foul here called on Cool. That might be her third. We'll have to wait and see here. I think you're right on this one. And it is. And quickly, they're going to get a sub into the game. That's a Jenna Dunn checking in. Yeah, you got to keep, you're going to have to play physical, so you got to keep the personnel rotated in and out. You got three fouls already here early on in quarter number three. Can't pick up the fourth. Lutz into the paint, turn around, shot by a single. It's off the mark, and here comes Dunn with the basketball. Here's Dunn. Jump stop. Back up top it goes. Into the paint, Mill Iron, her shot. Used the rim, but it didn't go, and Lutz with the rebound. How many times have you said Lutz with the rebound? Tons. Green, big pass over to McFarland, but the offensive foul is going to be called on Green coming down through the lane. Boy, that's a toughie. I think that would be her third. Yep. And Coach Drab's going to let her play a little bit. 
Six-point lead here for the She-Wolves on the Lady Lions. That's the Dubois third. Shot by Dunn from the left elbow. That's good by Dunn, and it's back to a four-point ball game. Quickly down the court. Here comes North Clarion. And the travel is going to be called on McFarland. That was Emma McFarland on that left side. Had a pretty good head of steam, but uh, took an extra step. On the NBA, that would be fine, right? Oh, NBA, you could. That's minimal. Dug <laughs> <laughs> back out, down to the right corner. Shot taken in the paint by Wyant. That's no good. And the ball tipped, and then there's Siegel taking it. Here's Green. 30 26, 5 18 to go here in the third. Larry Limestone and North Clarion girls doing battle tonight. It's not a bad idea here to be patient. You're in a driver's seat. You're up by four. It's not a stall. It's just patience. You know, oftentimes, whenever I tell it to people, they're like, that's boring basketball, Bob. It's not. <laughs> and that <laughs> is defense right there, Bob, too. That is a five-second defensive count. And the turnover gives it to Clarion Limestone. And be selective on your shots. You don't have to force things. Dunn on the right side. Dunn back up top. To Jenna Dunn. To the right side. Shot taken by, no, it was Kendall Dunn with it. I thought she was going to take the shot. Didn't lost. The ball comes into the paint. Puts up the runner. It's no good. And that is Siegel. Getting the rebound. Mike, you're so right. I think, oh. Steal by move. Dunn. Basket good, and we got a two-point ball game. Now, that is the definition of staying with the play. Going back to your earlier statement, she won that shot in the worst way. Siegel puts up the shot. No good. Rebound is by Dunn. Wyant shaking up a bit, but gets down the court. They're going to set the offense up. Lady Lions, could tire take the lead here. Into the paint, Ledbetter, the runner, it's no good. The foul's going to be called. The body, and up to the line goes Ledbetter to shoot two. So 4 one to go in the third. Ledbetter in the ball game, six points. Free throw line has not been kind to these Lions. They are 4 of 12. Ledbetter will release. Shot is deep, no good. So the futility continues from the free throw line. Next shot is up and rattles the cage. No good. I guess who got the rebound? <laughs> surprise, Siegel. surprise. It's either Siegel or Lutz. Yeah, it's been a powerful one-two combination on the boards tonight. Bring it up top. McFarland with the deep shot. It's off the back of the rim. No good. The rebound pulled down by Dunn. And uh, over to Milliron. Milliron shot in the paint. It's off the mark. Fight for the ball. Wyant comes out with it. Back out to Milliron. Milliron down into the paint. Had Wyant there, but it skirts out of bounds, and it goes back to North Clarion. Two-point ball game. Again, be selective here with the shot. You don't have to force it. The way you launch this one early is if somebody is wide, wide open. Ball to the corner, down into Lutz. Passes off to Siegel. Her shot no good, but a foul will be called. You see who gets caught with her hand in the cookie jar. It is going to be Ledbetter. And this to her first. At the line is Siegel. Shot is up and no good. Wolves now three of nine. 33% for those of you scoring at home. You sure? I could tell you 75% and you believe uh, it. Sure. <laughs> Mathematically challenged. <laughs> Shot's good. So three-point lead for Norris Clarion. Here come the Lady Lions. Now led better across the timeline. Mill Iron on the right side. Dumps it down into the paint. It's going to be tipped out of bounds. It'll stay Lion basketball. Penn State Dubois third quarter here on the EYT Media Network. Pace of the game has slowed down a little bit. Ball comes in to Wyant. 
And has a tip back into Wyatt's hands. There's Mill Iron on the backside to Dunn. Dunn takes a dribble back, puts up the shot, no good. Rebound ripped away by eight. And then almost stolen away by Mill Iron, but Mill Iron's going to get called with the push here. Mill Iron comes over to shake McFarland's hand. And bang, bang play, but foul nonetheless out of Mill Iron. That should be her third, and it is. Yep, good sportsmanship, too, there. Bob just would have pushed him back down. And here's the steal. Here we go back the other way. Lyons to Dunn. Back up to Milliron. Milliron to the left side to Ledbetter. Two-pointer on the way by Ledbetter. No good. Rebound is by McFarland. Well, you can see both of these coaches. They're just hanging on each and every shot, each and every trip up and down the court. Green bounce pass to Siegel. Back out to Green. Green driving into the lane. Green puts up the shot. No good. Siegel rebound. Banks it home. And it's 33-28. The lead is five for North Clarion. Glenn Siegel now. 11 points in the ballgame. Leads all scorers. Outstanding on the offensive side. But I think more importantly, what she's done defensively. Very few points directly in the paint. Wyatt shot in the paint. No good. Rebound is by eight. Just under two minutes. Quick pass down the court. McFarland shot on the way. It's no good. Rebound Ledbetter. Over to Milliron. Milliron in the lane. Puts up the shot, and it goes for Milliron as she falls to the ground. It's 33-20. Nine points now for Milliron. McFarland slowing things down here. Here's McFarland. Has the ball tipped away, stolen by Dunn. Dunn to Milliron. Milliron. Bounce pass over to Wyatt. Wyatt shot good, and it is 33-32. Boy, don't go anywhere. It's going to be a fun one down the stretch. Here's a single shot. It is good. 35-32. 13 out of Gwen Siegel. And the block's going to be called here on Bauer. Or was that uh, McFarland? That was should McFarland. Be, I was going to say, should be Madison McFarland. Yeah, Bauer not in there. It was McFarland. So we have a warning issued against the coach. So the next one, it would be a technical, and he would have to sit. Ball comes down into the paint. Dunn back out to Milliron. Shots on the way. It's no good. Battle for the ball. Ball is loose. Scrum for it. We're going to get a jump ball call. And the Land Pro possession arrow will point in the direction of Clarion Limestone. 52 seconds. Game's taken a physical uh, move here. It has, and this is a big possession here. Obviously, you you know, there's a party that would like to launch the three. Take the two if it's there. Well, Iron Cut comes into this up margin. Up. But, but be selective on the shot. Don't have to force it. Done. Shot. Good. Two-pointer. 35, 35. We're tied. 37 seconds to go here in the quarter. Ball tipped ahead. Underneath. Stolen back away by Dunn. Here come the Lady Lions. Here's Dunn with the basketball. Dunn looking for somewhere to go into Mill Iron. Shot by Mill Iron. Good, and it's 37 35, Lady Lions. Mill Iron now 11 points. Dunn with 11. Eight goes to Siegel. Siegel down the left side. Kicks it back up top. Stolen by Mill Iron. 10 seconds. Here's Mill Iron to the right side. Shot good again, and it's 39 35. Oh, my. Clary and Limestone to their biggest lead of the ball game of four, 39-35. We go to quarter number four, and you're watching Lorelei Clinic District 9 Basketball. Explore Clary and D9Sports.com. West Park Rehab Physical Therapy, providing traditional physical therapy plus diagnostic testing to include EMG nerve conduction study and musculoskeletal ultrasounds. Oh. 
Hi, my name is Jason and welcome to Sweet Basil. Come on in. Action we go, and 39-35 uh, is what the board says. We had 38-35, so we're going to asterisk that. We're not sure if it's not questioned, and the game is continuing, so neither side questioned. Here's a deep shot by McFarland on the way. It's off the mark. Put back, though. It's no good by Cribble, and Cribble is going to be fouled, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. Yeah, because we had two-point shot, two-point shot, two-point shot. So yeah, there were no threes. And they gave the signal, and the one is the two down there. That one shot, so. So we'll keep you posted on that. Now, Chase did change the score on your board to match what's on the scoreboard here. But we do have an asterisk. That shot is good. So the only thing they would have to say is apparently Miller made the three, even though we saw the symbol for two. Shot's good. So back to a two-point ball game. Going to be a fun finish to this one. Don't go away, folks. Fourth quarter is brought to you by Dubrook. But better passes off to Cool. Out of Illiron. Done and done. Done fakes, drives. Shot on the baseline. No good. Rebound is by uh, Siegel. Here's Green with the basketball. Cribble holds. He gets a pick. She'll take the shots from the free throw line. It's off the mark. Siegel saves it. Back in it comes to McFarland. Out to the corner. Siegel shot from the corner. Three-pointer. No good. Rebound by Green. Green spins around and travel is going to be called on Green. And again, just enough traffic there to prevent a clean opportunity. So 39-37, 6.53 to go here in this one. Kick going to be called in the lane there, so the ball will remain clearing of limestones. <laughs> so L2 inbound. Comes in to let better. Hit controlled by Cool. And the Wyants. Wyant fakes. Back out to Cool. Hands it to let better. Let better up top to Dunn. Kendall Dunn with it. Spins it down into Mill Iron. Shot no good. Rebound is by Green. And we're going to have a foul here called against Clary and Limestone. That'll be a foul against Wyant. So that'll be the fifth foul here against the Lions. And tough one there. That's number three on Wyant. Schick will check in for Wyant here. Ball quickly across the timeline. Ball into Siegel. Siegel spins around. Shot. Good. Nice move by Siegel to tie it at 39. 15 now for Glenn Siegel. Ball to the right side. Into Dunn. Dunn into Millar. Millar makes the move. Puts up the shot. No good. Fight for the ball. Tipped out into Green's hands. Tied at 39. <clears throat> ball dumped into the paint, stolen away. Mill Iron keeps the ball alive down the left side, tried to pass it off, and the offensive foul. Is there a foul going to be called on Mill Iron? Yes, there is. Mill Iron, her, her, well, now she and the official were talking. And I think they may be Looks taking like the foul. It, I away. thought a kick occurred yeah. before contact. And, that, and that's the call. And that's a case of two officials working together to get the right call. Yeah. I thought I saw the kick, but again, Fish is always having a better angle than we do. But they're going to they're going to say the kick occurred first yeah. and then the foul. Yeah. Ball comes right into the paints, comes out to Dunn. Here's Dunn in the paint, takes the shot. It's good. It's 41-39. Clary and Limestone, 5:40 to go. Full court pressure here by the Lady Lions. 
Pass comes in to Cribble. Cribble over to McFarland. McFarland across to Green. Here's Green down into the paint. It goes off with the fingertips of Siegel and out of bounds. Might be seeing a little bit of fatigue on both sides, Mike, starting to set in here. You see the game, it has slowed down a bit. Lutz gets such a check-in steal by Cribble. Here's Cribble going the other way. Cribble into the lane. Cribble puts up the shot. No good. It goes out of bounds, and it will go to Clarion Limestone. Lutz will check in. Good quality minutes by eights that time. And so when Lutz checks in, the reality is now that paint is clogged. Yep. And so you're going to have to shoot a little bit just outside the paint towards the perimeter. Mill Iron on the right side. Picks up that dribble, and what do we have? Full timeout taken by Clarion Limestone. We'll pause, 4.58 to go in this one, 41-39. It is Clarion Limestone leading. You're watching Laurel Eye Clinic District 9 Basketball and Explore Clarion and D9Sports.com. J&J Trailers and Equipment Sales on Route 66 in Shippenville is your one-stop trailer shop for all things trailers. J&J stocks over 70 trailers at a time of all shapes and sizes, including enclosed cargoes, equipment haulers, utility trailers, tilt trailers, and dump trailers. Reputable brands include CarMate, Sport Haven, PJ, Liberty, and Wells Cargo. If you are looking for the most dependable trailers on the market, backed by the industry's best warranty, choose J&J Trailers and Equipment Sales. Trailers that work for a living. Right back here at uh, North Clarion High School. Timeout taken by Gus Simpson of Clarion Limestone. 41-39, the Lady Lions lead 4.58 to go in this Dubrook fourth quarter. It's been bang, bang, back and forth, hasn't it, Governor? <laughs> it has been. It's, just, it's a fun one, no question about that. Worth the price of admission if you're sitting at home enjoying it. Happy we could bring it to you. Here we go. It is cool into Milliron. Milliron on the baseline, puts up the shot. No good. Rebound ripped away by Green. Here's Green coming the other way. Green finds Cribble. Back to Green. Trying to set something up in the paint. A high percent shot out of Siegel. Dumps it into Siegel, but it's tipped away. Cole will bring it up the court. Cole around the defense to the right corner. And now Mill Iron gives it to uh, Dunn. Dunn shot from the right elbow. Good by Dunn, and it's a four point Clarion Limestone lead. Nice one out of Dunn. That'll give her 15. Foul called up top. See, I think it might have been, yeah, I thought it was going to be on uh, Cool. Ledbetter checks in. That's Cool's fourth, so she's going to take a seat. May need her down the stretch. Coach Simpson doesn't want to have her get number five here. Cribble comes to the right side. Ball to the corner to green. Tipped out of bounds by uh, Dunn. That is... Jenna Dunn stays North Clarion basketball here with 4.05 to go here in the fourth. Ball back to the corner. McFarland dumps it into Siegel. Lost it. Ripped away by Dunn. Here's Dunn going the other way. Kendall Dunn. Up top to Milline. Pass down in to Schick. Lost it. Can she save it? And she does, but it's into Green. Here's Green taking it the other way for North Clarion. Green to the right side to McFarland. Three-pointer on the way by McFarland. That's no good. Rebound pulled down by Siegel. Siegel up top to uh, Cribble. And now McFarland to the right side to Green. Here's Green driving, and Green's going to get called for the offensive charge. That'll be number four on her. Yeah, a lot, a lot of contact on that when Kendall Dunn bounces up. You can tell she's feeling that. Shot a little bit. We go the other way. I think just that lowering of the shoulder. I think if she would have stayed more upright, she would have been okay. Ball over to Milliron. Now to Dunn. Dunn around the defense, and the foul will be called. And that'll be the fifth here against uh, North Clarion. Ball's going to be taken out of bounds. Ball on Siegel. Up 
So just five here against North Clarion. At first, they thought it might be the one-on-one. They were looking on the wrong side there with that six. It happens. Easy to do, no question about that. Ball comes in to Mill Iron, dumps it into Dunn. Dunn spins around, puts up the shot, banks it, rolls around, doesn't go. Rebound, Lutz. Nice job by Lutz. And I love what she did, secured the ball. No one was going to get a hand on that one. Yep. Cribble on the left side. Brings it to the free throw line and kept it from travel. What a great she job. Avoid the travel. Here's McFarland on the other side. The shot no good. Ledbetter's going to rein it in for the Lions. What a great job by Cribble, though, not to travel. Ball kicked down the court. Here's Dunn. Jenna Dunn shot from the left side. Good. No, it's not. It's off the side of the rim. I thought it was good. <laughs> Didn't it look like it, it was? It looked like it was going to go. It looked like it was going to go. It hit off the side of the rim, and it's no good, but the foul's called in the lane. And the foul will be rung up on Lutz, and uh, that'll send Wyatt up to the line to shoot two. And just number two on Lutz in this one. <laughs> Eyesight of an old man. <laughs> and no one's disagreeing. That's that's the reality, unfortunately, for you and I at this stage in the game. Shot's good. For Wyatt, that'll be number five. Coach Dryhop will elect to bring in Green. He had her sit for a minute. I think that was good. Gave him some time to run off the clock. Yeah, and again, uh, you know, he actually gained a very valuable defender out there in Lutz. Really clogs the paint up, does an effective job. Shot is up, and no good. Rebound, though, by Dunn. Law ball loose, taken away by Cribble. 44-39, five-point lead here for the Lions. Two and a half to go in this one. Don't go away. Dubrook, fourth quarter. Here's a deep shot from the left side. Off the side of the rim, no good. Battle for the ball, and Wyand comes down with it. Dunn will work it up the court here for the Lady Lions. This is where you need to play smart. You can't sit on the lead, but don't force it. Try and milk a little time off the clock. Ball underneath. And the pass by Miller stolen by Green. Here's Green with it. Big trip, eight points here. Down to 205. Into Siegel. Siegel spins around, puts up the shot on the paint. No good. Who's going to come down with it? Back to Siegel. Basket good. Great pass on her back was McFarland. And we'll have a timeout, 41-44, a minute 53 to go here in this one. It is just a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. Dubrook fourth quarter here for you on the EYT Media Network. We also want to thank the First United National Bank, the Fun Bank, a big sponsor here of North Clarion Sports on the EYT Media Network. The Fun Bank, the First United National Bank, they have branches pretty much everywhere. They're all over the place. And my younger sister works there. How's yep. that sound? Out of the New Bethlehem branch. Uh -huh. You ever go through the drive-thru just to get a lollipop or something? Hey, sis. You kidding? She'd tell me I don't need it. <laughs> get out of here. Lions to inbound the ball. Minute 53 to go here in this one. A three-point lead. Got a sister. You know how that stuff goes. Oh, I know. Chase over here has a bunch of them. Here's uh, Ledbetter. Up top to Dunn. To Mill Iron on the right side. Now CL's going to spread things out and force North Clarion to come out and possibly foul here. Which, actually, if I'm North Clarion, I probably would commit the foul soon. The reason being is CL's just 5 of 16 from the free throw line. Wow. On the back side, shot from the baseline. That's Ledbetter. It's off the mark. And McFarland with the rebound. Here's McFarland down the right side. McFarland in the lane. Puts up the shot. No good. Rebound done. She had a oh, great my. look at that one. This couldn't get the shot to fall. Timeout taken by Clarion Limestone here with a minute 15 to see if this is a full or a 30. It's a full timeout. We'll break quickly. Minute 15 to go here in this one. A three-point lead for Clarion Limestone. It is uh, Laurel Eye Clinic District. Nine basketball explorer Clarion D9sports.com.
Zocro Motor Truck Sales in Clarion is an international Diamond Ed certified service department. As one of only 276 such shops in all of North America, you can be sure that when your medium or heavy duty truck needs service, the job will be done correctly at Zocro Motors. Our work is guaranteed nationwide. At any all right, we're going right back to action here. Quarter number four here on the EYT Media Network. Fourth quarter action, a minute to play, 44-41. Weave up top here by the Lady Lions. Milliron working the basketball, hands it off to Dunn. 48 seconds, North Clarion's going to have to foul here. Inadvertent it? whistle. Inadvertent whistle by the official, and she says, my fault, and they're going to take the ball out of bounds. The CL will have to inbound again. 44-41, and you can see Coach Dryhoff, he wants a foul quickly here, which is uh, wise. Wise, and again, comes down to the fact that, remember, 5 of 16 from the free throw line. Ball comes in, and stolen away by Green. Big time play there out of Amaya Green. Three-point ball game. McFarland to tie it. No good. Rebound is by Ledbetter. Ledbetter dumps the ball ahead to Mill Iron. Mill Iron, it's a foot race. Mill Iron shot is good, and it's 46 41, Lady Lions. Five point lead. 21 seconds. Here's Green to the left side. McFarland shot on the way. Two pointer, no good. And a foul here is going to be called. They're going to get. Should be cool. And that could be her fifth. Pretty sure it is. That's not a bad foul, though, by Cool. That is her fifth. And so they'll have 30 seconds here to make the, the change. And checking in will be uh, Jenna Dunn. And up at the line, though, Governor, it is uh, Cribble here getting uh, the one and one. Cribble. Or are they giving her two? Cribble with two points here. Shot is up. No good. Yep, just a one on one. Siegel ripping that ball down. Siegel puts it back up. Shots no good. Fighting for the ball. Siegel's coming over the back on the rebound, and that will send Clarion Limestone to the other end to shoot a one on one. That is so hard for a taller player. And you make that contact. Contact was made, and the official made the call. Is this hard, you know, when you're. I've been in those boats before. Gravity is an amazing Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. And, and you're not going to change it, that's for sure. So at the line, it's going to be Kendall Dunn. 9.3 seconds. No matter what happens here, Bob, you're up by five. If she would make miss or whatever, let it go. Let them go down the court. You don't need to do anything if you're clearing limestone. Shots up. No good. All the way down, McFarland. McFarland to McFarland, shots on the way. It's good. Two pointer by McFarland. That makes it 0.8 seconds. It's a three point game. So we're going to keep it here. Three point ball game, 0.8 seconds. Stranger things have happened. On the inbound, it's got to be a quick steal and a fire. You got to fire the ball, and it's got to be from three point land. You literally would have to catch release, pick it yep. off that quick. It's got to be that quick. The only person I've ever seen do that, Tyler Oates. Was in gym class back in 1999. Interestingly, interestingly enough, he did it three times. <laughs> well, here we go, folks. He's actually it's, pointing to the spot on the court where it took place. It has been a fun one here in the North Country tonight. And here we go, the final Eight tenths of a second. Nope, they're going to put time on the clock because of the timeout. I actually give them a second and a half. That adds a little bit of time. Gives you a little extra if North Clarion is able to pick it off. If you're Clarion Limestone, you want to throw this the length of the court. Absolutely. Throw, go deep on this one. Ball comes in. Foul will be called with a half a second. That will put Ledbetter up at the line. So here we go. Half a second with Ledbetter at the line. Governor. Now this, this is a great opportunity for everybody involved in this because a close ball game like this, the regular season, you're going to take an awful lot away from this win or lose in this ball game. Shot is up and no good. 
And there's your buzzer, 46-43. Clarion Limestone knocks off North Clarion to win it here tonight. As they come up, it's always tough to come up here to North Clarion and come out with a win, but the Lady Lions are able to do it. We're going to take a very quick timeout. Bob's going to go down and check something with the score, and we'll be right back. You are watching Laurel Eye Clinic District 9 Basketball. Explore Clarion D9Sports.com. This is Corey. He made two big mistakes. His first mistake was not going to Laurel Eye Clinic to have bladeless LASIK. His second mistake was trying to pet what he thought was his cat without wearing his glasses. Don't be like Corey. Call Laurel Eye Clinic. We're here, making it safer to save today. As we all adjust to the new normal, shopping for furniture is a little different. That's why our team wears masks and goes the extra mile while delivering in your home. It's why our website is so informative, enabling you to buy online or by phone. That's why we limit shoppers and offer special hours for our at-risk neighbors, first responders, and healthcare professionals. Your waiting is over. Let us help you save safely today. Our community needs its local businesses. Let's put unity back into the community. Let's all unite to support local business. Butler Health System, proudly standing with our local businesses. Your choice matters. When the time comes, choose local. Let's all unite to support them and the other local businesses in your community. It's important because when local businesses thrive, communities thrive. Hi, my name is Jason and welcome to Sweet Basil. Come on in. Back here at North Clarion High School, it is time for the Clarion County Community Bank postgame show. Wow, what a ball game here tonight from the North Country. It was a battle from the very, very start. Tied at 15 at the end of the first quarter. 29-22, North Clarion led at halftime. Then Clarion Limestone led by four at the end of the third quarter, 39-35. And then the final score, 46-43, Clarion Limestone. So... As I said, we're in the Clarion County Community Bank postgame show. And, Governor, let's take a look at the Red Bank Chevrolet stats in this one. Well, for Clarion Limestone leading the way, it was Kendall Dunn. Dunn finished with 16 points, 15 points out of Francis Milliron, six points out of Alex Ledbetter, five out of Alyssa Wyant, and two points each out of Lexi Cole and Grace Schick. As a team, Mike, 518 from the free throw line did make enough, however, to make a difference, but they made one big three-point shot. And, of course, a three-point shot coming out of Kendall Dunn in the third quarter. As we take a look at North Clarion, they come up short in this one, Mike, but Gwen Siegel leads the way, 17 points, nine points out of Emma McFarland, four points out of Madison McFarland, as well as Lauren Lutz, and Emily Eights also adding four points, two points each out of Amaya Green and Clara Cribble, and one point out of Maria Bauer as a team, six of 13 from the free throw line, did make three three-pointers in this one, had some opportunities down the stretch, just could not convert. All right, those stats again are brought to you by Red Bank Chevrolet. It's time now for our Hager Paving Player of the Ball game. And, Bob, you had all the stats over there. Who do you like in this one? I do. We're going to go with Kendall Dunn in this one. Dunn played an outstanding ball game, both defensively and offensively. Hits that uh, big three-pointer in quarter number three. Again, uh, 16 points for Kendall Dunn in this one. She is your Hager Paving Player of the Ball game. There you go, Hager Paving, located out in Stratville. And I uh, want to thank them, as always for being our player of the game sponsor. Well, Bob, that does it uh, for us here tonight here in this Clarion County Community Bank postgame show. Big win for the Lady Lions over North Clarion tonight. Fantastic ball game from start to finish. Next week, we're back in action. We'll be in action Wednesday and Thursday next week. Check Explore Clarion D9 Sports for where we're going to be. Got to thank the production crew here, which would involve Chase as well as Tyler. For my broadcast partner, Mike Kalinowski, this is Governor Bob Dunkel saying, hey, let's be careful out there. <laughs>